I'm going to teach you how to make Marfoil Crispy Cakes. These are the best Marfoil Crispy Cakes in the world. Ever. Um, so, for today, I'm going to call them Made of Awesome Cakes. So, first of all, I need an apron, which is obviously not mine. The first thing we need to do is get ingredients. I'm going to make this amount for this, I need three Mars bars. You could use a different chocolate coated malt based caramel confectionery bar. Mars bar crispy cakes, much easier to say. The other important thing is obviously Rice Krispies. Now, can I just say, they have a recipe on the back. This is rubbish. If you get this pack with the stuff on the back, just ignore it and do what I say so. And the other ingredients are golden syrup. I just noticed that this is out of date. However, it's quite a lot out of date. I use it then straight away. I suggest that when you have golden syrup, you use, um, you use stuff that's in date. One massive bar of chocolate. You may help yourself to square. By the way, have to be Cadbury's. In America, I know you can get it somewhere. Or we'll ask your English friends to send it over. Because Hershey's is just not going to work, so. It's really hard to talk when you're eating chocolate. So, let's get started. Okay, so that you can see what I'm doing. I've put it low, so I'm going to have to bend down, so I have a bad back off to this. First of all, a pan. Then, chop up your marshmallows into little pieces, because you're going to melt it, like so. Mmm. First of all, you want to measure out uh, three, four, four and a half ounces of butter. You just want to melt the Mars Bar Krispies with the butter. You want your in-date golden syrup. Okay, you want about a tablespoon. Okay, well, while that's doing, I'm going to just grease my tin. You can also use icing sugar, I've just got a tiny lump of butter here, so I'm just using that. Okay, so, woo, this is done. I don't know if you can see me or if I'm in the shop, but this is done. Can I look at that? Now, doesn't that look gorgeous? You want about six cups. This kind of cup, just that kind of size. So now what we're going to do is start with the Rice Krispies. So you just, one, and just mix them in. So here we go. Two, three, that was a really big one, so let's see how it goes. So four, five, now I did say six before but that third one was a big one so um, I think this might be enough so I'll just stir this in and see. Put it in the tin. Like so, chuck it all in and basically just just spread it out. Put it down. Okay. Now what you want to do is get the bottom bits out of the pan and eat them. What you actually want to do I'm going to put this in the fridge. When it's cold, I'll come back and 
glue the, the chocolate covering. Hi, okay, so they're now nice and cold. Don't look any different, but they're nice and cold. So now what we want to do is we want to make the chocolate covering. Now, the best way to melt chocolate is a pan. This is the bowl I'm going to melt the chocolate in, okay? And you, you don't want it to stand on the bottom of the pan. So, get something that it can stand on top of. I'm heating it high for a minute just so that the water can get hot, but then you turn it down. So while it's getting hot, I am going to break in the chocolate. Let's turn that down now. It's basically now just to wait until it's melted. I'm going to get a spoonful and drizzle it on and then spread it out a bit. That is yum. And fill in the gap. Pop them back in the fridge um, and let them set. Let the chocolate set. And then they're done. Just chop them up into little squares. And voila. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my instructional video and um, good luck and thank you for watching. Okay, now today I am going to access... Oh, I told you! Not on the work surface! Oh, I don't want my hands again! The Essential Mars Mars.